Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully everybody is having a great evening. It's RF Mike, and tonight's YouTube video is sponsored by My Wallet. This is something I bought myself. No paid promotion, no reimbursement, no endorsement, none of that stuff. This is a package, and it is from... It doesn't actually say the manufacturer in here, but let's go ahead and crack into it. So you guys can find out what it is and who it is from as the video tag states uh, this is something that is free pixel 3 xl all right nothing else in there empty put that aside crack open our bubble wrapping here and yes here we have the new crash guard by Rhino Shield for the Pixel 3 XL. Let's get that in focus there. So absorb at least 11 feet of impact. This is a BPA free product, certified military grade, uh, mill standard G10 or uh, 810G certified. So this bumper is made to handle your heaviest crash, your heaviest hits and drops uh, of your phone, whether it's down steps, uh, off a ledge, hopefully you're not sitting on a ledge, but off a ledge, out of your pocket, when you get out of your vehicle, all that type of stuff. Um, if you guys have followed my YouTube channel, you've known for a while that I used to use these crash guards. I had one for our Pixel XL. We had one on, what was it, a Note device, I believe. And the last guard we switched to wasn't by Rhino Shield. The last one we had was actually the D brand grip. And I liked it, but it was definitely bulky. And the buttons, nice and clicky, which is a good thing. That is what you want. Um, my last uh, Rhino Shield that we had for the Pixel XL, the buttons were kind of stiff. And we saw kind of the same issue with the. Galaxy S8 or the S9. It was one of the two. We had another Rhino Shield for one of those two. So, same type of problem. Stiff buttons, but overall, great design, great protection. One thing I liked about the D brands was that it is grippy, but it is bulky. And D brands no longer makes this type of bumper anymore, just the original bumper. They make a full case that is a fully covered back, so you don't get to see your beautiful skins if you invested into those. So I had decided to go with the Rhino Shield for this year. Um, this is one that I have been waiting to get. I wanted to give it some time to get production done, wait for a sale to pop up. Sure enough, a sale did pop up, so we will pop out the Pixel 3 XL that is mine out of its clear case that is starting to show its age and you can see this starting to yellow and get all nasty and like our white doesn't even look white from it so it was time to move on and now that this rhino shield has arrived let's go ahead and crack into the sucker and see what we have here so first is there any tabs of seals i need to break i do not see any we should, yep, just lift the sucker right up. And there is our rhino shield right there on top. On the back side of our packaging, let's see what they say. Let's flip that back in. So, let's get this back into focus. We have durable material, raised lip, covers all drop angles, snug fit, three millimeter thin. Uh, lightweight, food grade, and BPA, BPS free, and 100% recyclable. So, as we said earlier, absorbs absorption, absorbs, not absorption, absorbs over 11 feet, 3.5 meters of impact. Honeycomb structure, next gen materials, uh, please watch our videos, blah, blah, blah. Also, they say for add-ons, you can do the screen protector as well, which is sold separately, give you some better protection using Rhino Shield or Crash Guard screen protector. But as you all know, I enjoy using my tempered glass. I like actual glass screen protectors. To me, these are way better, much better screen protector than using something that is a type of film or an impact film. So 
That is why I stick with these. So, taking a nice close look at our guard here, if we can get a good angle on it, you can see the honeycomb pattern inside this, and that is quite awesome. The other thing I do like with this new Rhino Shield, as we go around checking this out, nice wide cuts, port cutouts. Obviously we should have a microphone cutout down here as well. Uh, oh wait, that's right, there's no microphone down here, it's our SIM slot. Microphone cutout up top, our other mics are inside the speaker area. I've seen that side, looking at our honeycomb going through here. Looks good. We should have, yep, if you want to do a lanyard, you can. And our Rhino Shield badging. And the other cool part I like with the Rhino Shield is now we can pull out our black power button and we can insert, if we wish to, we have replacement buttons now. So we can do a color button for your Rhino Shield cases. Turn over for compatible cases slash devices and it will tell you how to go about doing so. So give me one second, I'm gonna look this over and we will come back with a new button installed. All right, so I decided to go with the red power button, which looks quite nice, as you can see. And we have our volume rocker. Those do not come out on the Pixel 3 XL, or even, I think, the Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. So um, other phones, you can replace all the buttons. I think the Pixel devices, you can only do the power button. So just so you all know. So yes, red and black. And then another thing. Side note, if you guys wonder where the instructions are here inside our case, obviously don't see them right here. It says down here, flip over. So pop that out and you flip this sucker upside down and shaky, shaky, eggs and bakey. And there are our instructions that drop right out. So before installing, do your screen protector. Careful not to squeeze on the case without anything. Use rubbing alcohol for cleaning. And then how to install, you always do your buttons first the side with the buttons on it. Uh, so that would be on ours, that would be our right spine versus other devices would probably be the left spine. And then to remove, you go from bottom uh, outward. So that is our quick how to's and they are all on one card now. So pretty cool. It has been a while since I have cracked into a Rhino Shield case, but now you all know. So let's go ahead and put this puppy in place. Make sure this is the front Rhino Shield. It will drop in like it says. We will do our side with buttons first. And then tap, click in, or others. That is definitely a tight fit. There we go. And we are in place. Good to go. And as you can see, we do have some good lip protection right here. Same thing at the bottom. Very good right where it counts, where you need it. And same thing for our top. Nice good lip protection there. You can see that is above the camera, just so, so slightly. And same thing with the bottom. Make sure ports look good. Yep, those line up nice and big. Same thing with our microphone port. Very nice. And that is it. And we are good to go with our Rhino Shield Crash Guard. For the Pixel 3 XL. This is the only bumper on the market that allows you to show off your lovely skin if you are somebody that likes to skin your phones such as I do. So that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button. That would help me out greatly. Please hit the comment button and leave a comment down below. Let me know what other cases you enjoy. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new and follow me on Twitter. I will be posting things on there before I make videos most of the time. Sometimes I might say something about a product after on Twitter. So if you want to see that stuff, please check it out. And if you want to know about the dbrand skin combination, please look back through my videos and you will find it. This is our Mike, and hope you all have a great evening, and I will see you all in the next video.